Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. Um, today we're gonna be working on the internal rate of return. So in a past video, uh, we calculated the net present value of a couple of projects. So let's just go over the file real quick. I'm going to have a project A and a project B. I already calculated the net present value. So what I'm going to do now it's uh, I'm going to calculate the internal rate of return the same way that we do it in Excel okay so we come over here we're gonna have this function and we're gonna have these values and Excel is gonna do it for us so if I come here to Visual Studio what I'm going to use is my Microsoft dot visual basic you have to add this using statement in order to access to those functions so for my internal rate of return what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a double and I'm gonna call this my internal rate of return a for my project a for example okay let's just call it the right way and then I'm going to say financials because I'm going to use my financial um, functions right dot and the rate of return is right here so then you're gonna have the arguments and here it's pretty much telling us that we have to do it in the same way that we do it in Excel we have to add the negative value in the same array but the way we have it laid out here is not that way so we have the investment in a different variable so we're gonna have to do some refactoring and in this case what I'm going to do just to show you how it works I'm going to create this new array here let's just collect project internal rate of return a and I'm going to add the negative value here which is going to be my investment for the project A. So it's going to be minus 30,000 dollars. So if I go over my file real quick, I'm gonna have my project A here with my minus 30,000 dollars. So what I have to have in my array is basically four values let's go over visual studio again so I have my four values here and I have my negative 30,000 okay I have my function here and let's see what else do I need so I pretty much need my project my reference is going to be my project internal rate of return a that's what I need and that's pretty much all I need so we had to modify this array basically uh, you could you could have done it like the other way around like start with this whole array here and then calculate the net present value and the internal rate of return at the same time like it doesn't matter like you can do it in different ways but for now the way I want to do it is this way so I want to separate the two things for now okay so this is going to calculate my rate of return so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to console right line my result so let's just go over here um, yeah let's just print it here so I'm going to print my result here so this is the internal rate of return for project A and then I'm going to have my internal rate of return A okay perfect 
and then I'm going to have to calculate my internal rate of return for project B but what I'm what I want to do right now is I want to prove that this result is the same so let's just go over my Excel file and I'm supposed to get something around 80 sorry 68 percent to be more precise it should be something more like 68 21 let's just go over the file again and let's just run this application and let's see if we got the same result okay let's just give it one second it should be the first result so uh, this is the IRR for project A so I got the same result 68.21 percent basically so my internal rate of return is working that's perfect so let's try to calculate the internal rate of return for my project B so I'm just going to do the same pretty much so I uh, let's just type a comment real quick for my project B it's going to be let's just copy the same code and it's going to be B and the values of course they're going to be different values which are my values from project B and remember you have to add the investment so if we come over here the investment for project B is twenty thousand dollars so I have to add it here at the beginning okay now I got it and I'm going to calculate my second internal rate of return let's just change the name for this one and what I'm going to print here is my uh, second rate of return perfect and what I want to do here is I just want to separate this let's just print something here okay perfect and if we run this I should be getting the value for my project B which is 134 percent and uh, if we want to be more precise it's going to be 133 79 so let's just go over here and let's just run the application and let's see if we get the same values okay perfect 133 79 percent that's perfect so what I did here um, it was pretty much the same thing that you do in Excel but I did it on C sharp in the case that you guys need to work with this type of functions that you have on Excel with Visual Basic I'm gonna show you in a different video other functions that you can use but for this scenario we've been uh, calculating the net present value and the internal rate of return for a couple of projects and we have the same results here so um, I have this code in my github repository so it's going to be in my comments so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next video